If you guys want to get some awesome teams and guaranteed class players, make sure you go and check out FootCoinKing.com. Their link is down below. And if you use discount code B87, you get an extra 6% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome to another video by myself, Bateson87. Now I love looking at different things FIFA can add. Now obviously, you guys look at the kits, you may have the set kits you use on Ultimate Team and uh, that's what you'll use throughout the FIFA, but I get bored of my kits quite fast. I usually rock with dark ones, usually Adidas, uh, Nike as well. Usually them two makes, and I don't know, I like the kit designs and I always have done. So, today we're going to be looking at some more kits EA could add into the game as a classic kit style. Now, if you guys have any suggestions of the classic kits we can look at in the future, make sure you leave a comment down below and I will aim to build, do another video with the kits which you guys enjoy. So hopefully the ones you see today do rekindle some, uh, well, just the players which used to play in the kits like the Real Madrid Galacticos and whatnot. And if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes as well, make sure you check out G2A.com, their link is down below. If we can try and smash over 5,000 likes this video, guys, that'd be absolutely awesome. And let me know if you remember all of these kits in the video. So the first batch of classic kids we are looking at today are the Arsenal and Manchester United ones. Now if you guys are Manchester United fans as well, you will know that the green and yellow kit was a very, it's very primary. I don't, I'm, I'm not a follower of Manchester United, you guys know this anyway. Um, but there's something to do with the yellow and green of Manchester United, especially that kit. But I don't know what it is. If any Manchester United fans can let me know down below, that'd be awesome. We also have the black kit, um, or both of them sponsored by Sharp, both of them Umbro as well and then we move on to the Arsenal kit now the Arsenal kits which actually stand out stood out to me and the ones I would want as a classic kit are actually the uh, maroon one the centenary kit they had a long time ago but these are the kits we did find we found an absolutely disgusting one when back when Ian Wright used to play for Arsenal it is horrendous sponsored by JBC as well and then we have one of the more recent ones I think that was probably the last kit which Cesc Fabregas did play in an Arsenal shirt but they're the kits we do have for you guys anyway again a, a brief image of the players like Cantona and Ian Wright in them as well. So let's have a look at the next four. The next four I've chosen are AC Milan home and away and Inter Milan home and away. The famous um, Inter Milan Dragon jersey. You guys, if you've played FIFA for a long time, will remember some of these kits back on FIFA. And I don't know why EA don't bring them in. Maybe it is something down to licensing. But it'd be nice to get um, a nice sponsored uh, classic style. Like The classic kits on the game now look ter terrible. There's none of them I actually enjoy. They don't have decent sponsors. They don't look like a normal kit. They look pretty garbage, to be honest. Um, but like the AC Milan FIFA 12 kit, we remember that when we're tearing shit up with Ibrahimovic, Pato, uh, Kevin Prince, Boateng, Taiwo, all them players, and also the away kit with the uh, Italian symbol down the middle. The Inter Milan kit as well with the dragon, absolutely brilliant. And you can see some of the players uh, on the screen now, the likes of Ibra, Pato, Cassano, Sedov, Rubinho, and then on the other side, you've got Zanetti, Cambiasso, and uh, two goalkeepers as well with the the Champions League Cup in front of them. So let's have a look at the next next batch of kits. Now, being a Liverpool fan myself, I can't, you can't go without any Liverpool kits missing. And we do. We have the Fernando Torres era of Liverpool kits. These classic kits will be nice. There is a lot more decent Liverpool ones in. And hopefully in the next video, I can get some made up so to, to, to make better kits for you guys. Um, we also have two Chelsea away kits. One of them was uh, Commodore um, as the sponsor and uh, Adidas kits as well. I couldn't find any images of them. I think it was back... Um, actually, I can't remember any of the Chelsea players before they started getting the likes of Zola and whatnot. But the Liverpool kit looks decent. Um, obviously, Liverpool fans love Torres, and there he is in the, in the Liverpool kit as well. So, that was another four. Let's go and have a look at the next. Now, these are the Galactico kits. The, these are my favourite Real Madrid jerseys over the years. Now, I love simple kits with just the kit make um, and the badge. And the Galactico kits, which Real Madrid used to have with no sponsor, the back when um, Zidane scored at the Champions League winning volley from outside the area. They look so clean, they look so simple, and they look classy as well. We've also got another Real Madrid jersey, which is the one when it used to be sponsored by Teca, the likes of Morientes and Raul up front of them. And we also have a Juventus one added in there as well. Well, that's probably one of the more recent kits in this video. But if you take a look at the, the likes of the legends in the kits, it, I would love to play with these kits and have a... Um, I, I would just love to run the... I, I could easily run the Galactico kits, the one which Zidane is in with no sponsor. I could easily run that throughout the whole of FIFA. It would be fun to use. It looks simple. It looks clean. It looks very, very nice. So let's have a look at the next batch. Now we visit Germany, not just Borussia Dortmund, but also the German national kits. 
the Bussy Dortmund used to have some really, really disgusting kits. As you can see there with the green one, I absolutely did not, I despise that kit. Like, honestly despised it but then they got good with some faded yellow and black ones in germany they had the green kit and also the um the, the, the kit which they beat england in the germany one uh, with closer rocking it as well you can see an image of him on the screen and then we do actually move over to another which are some of the kits the ajax fans uh, of my channel do um, obviously will like uh, with the champions league winning kit the umbro one with that like I look at Ajax and that kit just reminds me of, of them straight away. That That's the kit which um, Ajax is in my head. We also have the Newcastle kit. Now this kit was very symbolic for a lot of people back in the day. Mainly because Alan Shearer did sign as a, um, was it a world record or just a British transfer record fee um, when he signed from Blackburn to Newcastle. We have the Bolton kit and then we have my favourite kit on any of the FIFAs which was the UNICEF Bromby kit um, back in FIFA 12. They actually changed sponsor and got rid of UNICEF which was a bit of a um, a bit of a, a surprise and a bit of a ditch for me but obviously uh, it happens and that's what you got to deal with but that's why we have the classic kits so you can go back and rekindle your love for the best kits on FIFA we also have two Celtic ones there both sponsored by Tenants and the two Marseille kits as well they're sported by Gignac and also Lucha Gonzalez is that his? I think that's two of the players um, the Marseille blue kit was very very nice it reminds me a lot of how Napoli's camouflage kit was it was a very weird one and uh, fingers crossed we can get some more weird kits in the future. Now the final kits we're going to look at are the international, some international ones. We have Jamaica on the left hand side. A very nice classic kit. I think a lot of people would rock that if it was in the game. Mexico's most horrendous kit you've ever seen ever. That's there. But then also Mexico's away kit which is very very nice looking. Very clean. Um, a lot like the Galacticos one with the red, black and gold design. And then we have two Wolverhampton Wanderers kits which were the, which are the standout Wolves kits for, for me over the past couple of years. Uh, obviously having Bull sport them in there. So guys if you could have any kits on FIFA from the previous decades, which kits would you love to see in Ultimate Team? And would you actually prefer to see a nice kit add-on in the game? Not just ones you unlock, ones you can actually buy as a pack add-on. Um, Actually, in the store, like you get the if you reach a certain XP level, you get to unlock certain kits, but they're not that good. I don't like any of the ones you unlock, but these ones with sponsors and kit makes will be absolutely decent. So, guys, drop a like, rate, and subscribe if you're not subscribed, and go and check out Daily Renders, uh, Daily Renders Twitter as a massive thank you for putting the graphics together. Apart from the pictures, because I did that myself, and that's why they don't look that good. But subscribe, comment, like, and until next time, see you all later. Have a very, very nice rest of your day.